But it's kind of amazing for you guys because you want to be in the space because you know that's where it's going. Yep. But it's got to be it can't it's got to be revenue producing. If it's revenue, it's like if how else can you you know are you going to back a Twitter wannabe or Facebook wannabe yeah. or all these little apps? The money is where the when if you can be in the ad train and you can capture some of that money yep. moving over, isn't that the safest play? That is, and, and it does have to be revenue producing or potential for revenue producing. I mean. I, I do a lot of capital raising for growth companies, and the reality is we're always selling forward. We're selling forward revenues, we're selling forward story. So there's a lot of things you're looking at, the management team, the opportunity, the adaptability, the size of the market going forward. So it doesn't always have to be revenue generated today, but looking, you know. It has to be in the model. It has to be in the model. You have to have proven out that you have the execution capability given the parameters you have today that helps get the, the market comfortable as things change and adapt down the road, you'll be able to do so. So you know, one, of the, uh, one of the metrics a lot of good investors look at is you know, they would rather have an A plus management team and a B plus opportunity versus the opposite because the reality is the opportunity is going to look completely different two years from now than it does today. Exactly. And you hope the management team's the same. I don't think it's two years really. And, or a year from now or maybe <laughs> two weeks months, from now, right. depending on how quickly it is. It is amazing. Goes. And yeah. if you're in there on the ground and you can adapt, yep. you come to a show like this, you find yep. some new technology, yep. and you can ease into it, yep. it's amazing. So it's exciting. I mean, it's, it's, it's very exciting. You know, I, I, we, we are you know, on the, the intermediary, intermediary service side, but, but it's exciting finding these great companies, working with these great entrepreneurs, bringing them to the institutional investor community we know, selling them to the strategic guys, and and you know, creating greater and greater entities over time. And, and um, you know, I, I have been doing this for 20 plus years, and you've seen other industries kind of go through this. You know, the Nothing search, like this. The, you'd similar, the search industry when it originally began, there was conferences like this that were very small, and then they grew, and then they grew. Um, this is a, you know, a larger opportunity because that was one segment of a, of a large opportunity. And a lot of people can play we, in this. We, we've we've seen people. that, yeah, yes, I agree. This is so, it, it, it's very exciting, it's, it's a great time to be in the space, it's nice to see the acceptance of the space. Like I said, there was always a, um, a connotation that lead gen by its nature is not business. And from, from our firm's perspective, that's without lead gen, you have no business. Right, so, so but the guys a, that got in early on, you know, were the people that maybe were sold on lower end products and it, yes. they got associated, negative halo effect. But, but that's okay, I mean, it's not different than the high yield market, which, you know, to bring it back to my terms in the financial junk community, bonds. it was a junk bond market. And you know what, out of that, yield. one of the biggest financiers, or companies that got financed was MGM. Well, right now we're sitting in an MGM facility. And Isn't that amazing? You know, junk bond turned into high yield. High yield became an acceptable part of the community. So in a lot of industries that are formed, it's not, um, it's not unique to have a little bit of a gold rush, get the gold rush itself, you know, gold rush mentality where there's, a, good players, some not so good players, and everyone's grabbing for the same piece of this growing pie, but if you look for the mid to long term, it's always those that have integrity and develop business models, and, and, and that gets rewarded for the mid to long term, so. It's one of the complications, or one of the things that makes your job hard, is there's so many opportunities now? Um, no, you can never have too many opportunities. Um, I'd rather have too many than too little. It makes my, time with my family a little harder. It makes sleeping sleeping a little bit harder, but uh, I wouldn't say it makes my job harder. It's, you know, there's still, um, I wouldn't quite say a bifurcation, but there's, you know, leaders, there's middle tier and there's lower tier companies. We focus on kind of the leaders and, and, and the middle tier companies. So it's, you know, you, to a certain extent, you can figure out who um, the leading players are. You're not going to be right all the time, but as, as long as you, you know, especially when you focus in specific industries, even on the financial side, we don't have the expertise of the entrepreneurs in the industry, but but you you know you pick up some telltale signs that that you know if they check seven out of those ten boxes, you know they're going down the right path. So so you know we we've been pretty fortunate. I think I think most you you, you know you're you're going to miss some of the really really early stage stuff, but most of those aren't going to have a, an investment bank working with them. Shouldn't have an investment bank working with them. But right. as they grow, you can pick out the winners keep your eye and the losers. On them. You keep your eye on them, you stay there. You know, one of the analogies I use is, as a firm, we're, we're full-time residents in this space where others are tourists, so they come in and out depending what's hot or not. We have a 10-year-old plus firm that, that was built around You're real industry. fans. We're real fans. Yeah, you're like kinda Chicago like, Cup like fans. My, I am from Chicago as well, so that's a perfect analogy. 
So Chicago Blackhawks, Chicago Bulls, Chicago Cubs, doesn't matter where I live, I still root it's for them. It's amazing. All right. Well, any uh, parting words to your fans? Uh, none, just uh, the, for, for all the clients here, keep up the good work, and I uh, look forward to working with, with you. Right. Perfect. Very good job. Thank you.